Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our next speaker, C.C. Johnson, has been recognized as the founder of modern couture invitation design. Her acclaimed studio, C.C. New York, has won numerous awards, including the prestigious Modern Bride Trendsetter Award, named New York Magazine's Expert Stationer, and has won successive Best Invitation Design Awards, leading to her induction into the Knotts Wedding Hall of Fame. CeCe's fashion-forward style and sophisticated design aesthetic have led her to be named by Tory Burch as a woman to watch and called by Anna Wintour of Vogue, a favorite designer. It is my pleasure to introduce a, a true innovator and my friend CC Johnson. After I designed my first invitation, I moved to New York City and I just really, I was working in the corporate world designing websites and it just, honestly I just missed paper. Wow. It all kind of happened by accident. I went to one of my colleagues at, at my new job and showed her the invitation I had designed and she loved it and she just said, Dan, you're doing my invitation. And that's how CC took off. I and mean, really it was just about passion and a desire to create something special for people. And I'm still doing that today, and I love it. The philosophy for the CC brand is really just to create the best graphic design that we can. We're all artists and designers and creators, and it's, it's just about really creating one-of-a-kind amazing works for our clients and making them look fantastic on paper. To me, inspiration is all around you, whether it's just walking down the street or looking in a magazine, I find it all in everywhere I go. I also find inspiration with my clients and getting to know you, getting to know what you love and what makes you tick, what excites you really excites me and excites us. Everyone always asks me, like, how can I keep coming up with more unique designs? And truthfully, it's just in, it's in me, it's in us, like, as a designer and an artist, like, that's just in our blood. It's all about that challenge, that creative collaboration. We're just continually pushing ourselves. It's just the way we are and what we do best, and we just love it. Our creative process is, is really personal. It's really all about that, that creative collaboration between us and you. It begins with getting to know you and creating inspiration boards. Doing sketches and we do all sorts of explorations in terms of what we can really do for your designs, and how many different ways we can approach your invitation. So it's not just one option and that's it, we're done. It's all about here's five different ways we can approach your design, and then you can take elements that you love from each. body of work that you see when you're here, if you're loving it, if it's exciting you and you're feeling like it's just beautiful, then to me the most exciting thing is to imagine what it's going to be like working with us and then you know that we're going to design something fantastic for you. We're not mass producing things, we're a design studio that creates one of kind pieces just for you. All we need for you to do is just really open up and just share your story and your passions and what excites you and and we are able to turn that into art. I just want our, I just want you to trust and know that we're gonna make it really fantastic and you will love it. Thank you for having me, and thank you all for coming. I, I'm curious, actually, how many uh, couples or engaged people do we have in the audience? Because I want to, okay. Okay, congratulations. That's so exciting. And what about just the rest of us industry people, professionals? Okay, hi, friends. That's great. Okay, awesome. Well, I am here for you guys today. We're going to have a Q&A after. Really, I'm here to talk about all the ins and outs of invitations and navigate you through that world. Whether you're in the industry or you're getting in getting married, there's so much to deal with it. Um, so please feel free to share what moves you. Follow me on Instagram. There's so much inspiration there as well. Um, so really, it's about the art of the invitation, right? Nowadays, I think it's a very exciting time to get to be getting married because the world, if 
of weddings is so personalized now. I mean, I've been in this business for 15 years, and when I started, I offered that couture concept that as an artist and a designer, you could really like create something super special for people. And now it's like, it's spanned across all of, all of our talents and all of the silos that comes from the creative team to make a wedding. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, so I want to go through your invitation options, what the creative process looks like, and key trends for 2019, and my top tips. So all of you guys can be pros when we're done, okay? Um, so what are my invitation options? How many of you guys feel like when you see a movie trailer, it gets you really excited to go see the movie? Like, it makes a difference, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So I believe, as an invitation designer, that's our job, to really create that movie trailer or that element that tells your story and entice your guests to come. Because, I mean, we're spending so much time and energy and money on the wedding day. This is the one thing that gets your guests to come. And it's also a really special keepsake. So let's go through what are those options. Uh, now you can do, there's ready to order, which is basically you can choose from existing designs that are out there in the universe, right? You can go to a stationery store, you can work with a, a, a stationery person, a designer, and it's really the advantages of it is to, you have your existing designs and they're ready to be personalized. So they're for you, you can choose them, you can change the colors, you can make it your own that way. Um, or, you, and also it has a, a faster turnaround time. So the benefit of, of the ready to order, just like think of it like, I always relate back to fashion. <laughs> so think of it like, you know, you can go to a store and pick that little black dress off the rack, try it on, it fits, it's perfect, it goes. Um, or you can work with a actual designer themselves and they'll make you a gown and you'll go through the whole, uh, whole entire process of uh, designing and creating and fitting and everything like that. Um, so it's great for those who really need to see it also before they buy, because with the couture process, you have to really trust in who you're hiring and, uh, and take that visual leap of faith, where here you can really see the existing design for example, this is one of our uh, deco collections. You see it, you fall in love with it, you're excited about it, you're like, it's perfect, but you're not doing gold, so you can change it to silver, change different colors, change your fonts, and really personalize it that way. So I like to think of it more of like you're, you're styling an outfit, right? <laughs> so how do you change it up? Uh, this is another one from our collection. We have thousands of different designs um, that is more for a modern event. You see it here in silvers and gold, or silvers, but imagine it in golds or in hot pinks or whatever your tones are. You know, you can really change it up and it, and it transforms the whole design. Welcome, everyone. Come on in. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, or, you know, if your vibe, if your style's more like watercolor or you want the florals, this is a really beautiful uh, collection here. So you can see there's a wide range and there's so much possibility now. Because before, I feel like when I started, there was really only some sort of stodgy, I call it, or, or boring options, no offense. But it was really centered text and you had to pick a motif at the top and that was your idea of personalization. And when I started, I was like, that's not custom. To me, that's just not special. Like, custom is from my imagination. It's, it's creating from scratch. It's making something one of a kind and amazing for your clients. And that's how my, I call it CC Couture. That's how this couture concept in the world of invitations really was born. Because there wasn't anything like that when I started. And I thought, gosh, like I love being creative. I love designing for you. I love being inspired by you or your clients and creating something that then becomes a truly true work of art. Um, and it's it's literally exclusive, right? It's one of a kind, so it's very special. Um, and the difference really is it's a more fun, collaborative process. Not to say that um, ready to order, I mean, you can order online where you're doing it quick and fast, it's down and dirty, <laughs> or you can come and work with a designer, like if you're working with us, it's very personalized. It takes a lot longer, of course. You need to allocate some more time. Uh, usually it's like a good two to three months lead time before you need to order versus um, online. You can just go and buy and, you know, Know, it's a couple weeks. So if you're interested in that process, it's definitely advised to, to plan ahead and, and get that going um, as soon as possible because then you can really relax and enjoy the creative process. But it's really perfect for those who are detail oriented and really want something, you know, like want their hands in everything um, and every step of the way can personalize it. And, and also it's like telling your story. It becomes that amazing, like how awesome to turn yourself over to uh, a talented designer who can create something for you and take you through that process. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, 
a lot of times, I think I, I want to unveil the confusion. I think that in the world of invitations, it becomes um, almost like difficult for people to understand what it's going to look like. Like, how am I going to know? I know that I love the body of work that I'm seeing, but I'm not really sure what it's going to look like for me. So it's 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 different. Like, we're ready to order. You guys are clear. I hope. Stop me. I know I talk fast, but stop me if you need. If you have any questions, because we can have this be very open. Um, and where, where couture is like, you literally are like, I love it, I want it, I trust you, let's go for it, let's give it a shot. And then what we do is we create these beautiful mood boards. And this particular client, I never even met. We work with clients all over the world, in any state, it doesn't matter. And she was actually in um, Lebanon, in Beirut, and she wanted, it was a Midsummer Night Stream party, or wedding. And everything was going to be amazingly beautiful and whimsical. Her, um, her vibe was that, well, obviously Midsummer Night's Dream, but she loved literature. She was a writer. So she really wanted to incorporate that personal story into it and maybe do something just super different, nothing that anything anyone else had. So we make these mood boards. Then we put together some beautiful um, color palettes to send, make a sense of the vibe. These are just initial ideas, so it's starting to give your, your client or, or you guys as a couples um, an idea of what's to come and to react to, because it, again, it's very collaborative. So you don't have to commit right away to what is it going to look like. It's really about, let's play. <laughs> let's be creative. Like an event designer, you saw Colin, maybe some of you did. You know, they, you turn yourself over and the magic happens, and that's really fun. Um, and then here's some font studies, like what is your name going to look like? Like how fun is that to start to see your name come to life in scripts or in block fonts and you can play with it that way. So we always present different concepts if you go down the, the couture route and it shows the artistry like you saw in my video. We, we really love to create from scratch, scratch, draw and we're conceptualizing ideas that literally are from our brains. They're not off the shelf. So this Concept one was uh, the idea of it being a book of love because it's their wedding, and you know she's big and as a uh, as a writer. She wanted to tie that story in, so I thought the cover could maybe be like with their logo in the middle, the book of love concept, and then have their initials with the magical little fairies from Midsummer Night's Dream like twinkling in the stars on the side, and then have a quote maybe that because she was wanting to collaborate and write something too and bring her own work into it, so. Um, so then that was going to be here, and then this page would flip over and it would reveal the invitation that would have be mounted here and have some beautiful border, maybe laser cut. So this is idea one. It's just scribble sketches, but at least it communicates the idea. So now they're like, okay, I'm loving it. I'm feeling good about this, right? It gives you, hopefully it gives you something to um, react to instead of imagining in your head, like, wait, I don't get it. What is it going to look like? Um, how many of us struggle with that, right? Like it's always so hard to communicate it. So then concept two was I really love to play with different printing techniques. We don't limit ourselves to just one technique. Like it's not just letterpress or just foil. If you look at our body of work, you'll see the creativity and just the experimentation that we play with. Um, so this idea was playing with, it's called blind embossing, and it's basically like the paper is pushed up into many, many levels, and it's raised, I guess, and transformed into this. I wanted to make this like, you know, midsummer, like fairyland um, dream <laughs> scene, and then have their logo be mounted in the middle, and it would open and create this really cool oval kind of oblong shape and the invite would be mounted onto the side with little quotes and you can see their initials inside and then this idea was putting oh, having a magical envelope open and have the scene be uh, right there in the liner and then have maybe the belly band with the back design so it would takes a little bit more of a simpler approach um, and then the last idea was literally like more of that book type design so it would open and you would play with different layers and, and each layer of laser cut would open and give you like an, a little adventure to get to the invitation so she ended up picking the last concept <laughs> and um, and so 
then, and then this is what our color studies, there's many, many rounds in between on the couture process, of course, and even in our ready to order, you get proofs and you get to see it, so don't feel like it's that you just order it and go. In, in, our, in our case, we always show the proofs, but we really try to take you through every step of the way, so there's no question of what it's gonna look like or any sense of like curiosity of, of the details. So this is our sketch um, before I went in to paint it, and we pieced it all together, you know, the, the client gets the opportunity to proof every little aspect. It's very, very collaborative and fun. And then here's some scenes of my painting of my desk um, in my studio. You can see the layers. So I have my final proof here, and then the beginning of the, the stages, and then the extra layers of as the details came through. So I was particularly happy when that fairy uh, gnome creature came to life. <laughs> Whatever you want to call him. <laughs> And then this is the final piece. So I want to play the video just to see how interactive it can be. And just to open your minds to the magic of the art of the possible, of what couture can really be like. Because this never existed before. And this is how it like literally came to life. So hopefully, Alex, you can play it. And we'll take you through that. And if you guys can follow on, um, on Instagram, we are always taking you. We have our design of the weeks. And we're showing our invitations um, this way. And of course, you can come visit us at our booth, but there it is. <laughs> so there's multi-levels of foil in there. There's gold foil and pearl foil. There's even hidden fairies in, in a translucent foil. <laughs> and there's the CJ with their initials and the little fairies. And then their Shakespeare quote. And then each layer, if you notice, has hidden, like we've got the love potion here, and then the fairies and the butterflies. And this was an, an invitation to, uh, or actually a creative way to do their um, gift card. And so it just really takes you on a little, transports you there, right, before you even attend it. So remember that movie trailer? Hopefully you guys all want to come see this one. <laughs> OK, great. Thank you. <laughs> so. So I guess my biggest thing and why I wanted to take you through this, because I don't think it's very obvious when you're looking, especially as a, as a, a couple who are just engaged, when you're looking online and you're, or, or even if you're planning a wedding, you're like, well, how, how do I know what it's going to be like? The, the benefit now in today's world with these amazing professionals that are in the wedding industry that you can literally like work with now, you can get this amazingness that does, it's not something you find on Pinterest. It's not something that you Google and go, okay, that's the one, you know, it's a little bit of changing your your mindset to be able to let and allow this magic to really happen and be created just for you. So it's extremely special storytelling, the way we like to say it. So these are some other ones. They don't all have to include paintings or artwork, but this one, the client was getting married in Vegas and she like wanted to be really wild and crazy. She loved the idea of feathers. We literally brought in like so many different uh, mixed materials. There's feathers, there's uh, satin ribbons. They had these like uh, beautiful canopies that were hung down with all this wild uh, hand-painted watercolor ribbon so we tied that in and everything had to be very modern and unique in shape and as you took that belly band off this whole wrap that you see on the background here this was all folded up around here so it's like this really beautiful packaging but again very modern very crazy because she like she just wanted wanted to go all out in that sense to combine all those different elements um, and this one, so all this bride told me, this client, she said, I just really love Back to the Future, and I really love a modern romantic, I want to have this, like, you know, this, uh, that over the top, not over the top, but like more of that romance, lush, blush, uh, lots of flowers, that romantic wedding. So I was like, how am I going to bring Back to the Future into this romantic wedding? And I think when it comes to that you know, personalization, it's like, OK, how can we tastefully do it? So we came up with this origami shape that is, in our way, it's sort of futuristic, again, but we're trying to put our elegant spin on it, because I think no matter what you do, you always have to put that, that elegant lens on it to make it beautiful. Um, and then as you open it, the envelope has our, my uh, hand-drawn florals in the rose gold, so there's lots of that romance and light color blushes. But then when you undo this, it looks like that, and it reveals the invitation. So there's multiple layers. And in that wrap, there's little, um, oh my gosh, who's a back to future fan. It's like, uh, hit, uh, gosh, what are the, what's the car called? DeLorean. Thank you. There's like little, little quotes, the DeLorean, the 
fl hip fl like flexor or something or others. They're like little uh, gears and things that were. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I knew I would forget it. Flex capacitor. Um, they're all hidden inside. I'm sorry I don't have a photo of it, but if you imagine, this is, it's all this like sparkly flowers and stuff, but we quote, added the quotes and the symbols and made it really personal that way. So they looked at it and knew, and those that were friend, you know, their personal friends would read the little little quotes that, of course, are like in pretty script and looking very very wedding and elegant, yeah. but they are Back to the Future quotes. So it was our creative way to bring it in, and it really <laughs> added personalization. Um, some people love it to bring in, you know, their their dogs or their family in certain ways or whatever they're loving. You know, it's all about that personalization. Like this one, um, this bride got engaged at the carousel in Bryant Park in New York City. I don't know if I'm in the way of everyone, but if you can see here, can you see? <laughs> These are the two little carousel horses, and then that's their logo that we created. And throughout the entire bit of um, laser cut there's butterflies and florals and her little like you know the Hebrew blessings are tucked in so they're done in a very pretty and elegant different way am I better on this side or that side I don't know <laughs> I don't know where to go all right thanks um, and this one is was one we we created for a, a client in at Getty Marion Florida at the breakers and she just loved the artistry and wanted to have beautiful palm leaves and florals and this like w the watercolor touches but then had that gold glam mixed in so we did this laser cut band that wrapped around it in the foil and her custom crest with the p welcome pineapple and these details tucked in right here and this became that branded moment that then now you can carry into your wedding and have it on everything it could be your dance floor your personal like the little uh, I love doing on napkins and um, I mean it really it runs the gamut of where you can go and then this is this events invitation we were very honored to be asked to do this design and I wanted to just share that with you because there's a little behind the scenes of the flowers that I painted so it's not always I guess what you see is what you get you it's good to know that there is some um, creative behind the whole imagery so there's a little fun <laughs> behind the scenes of me painting this and what I love to do um, we work very closely with our clients and we'll always if, if allowed of course we don't while we do share a lot, I do want to preface that we get permission to share everything because um, we also respect people's privacy. So if um, our client allows, then uh, I'll take them through the behind the scenes and tag them so they can be very interactive with it and it's quite fun um, and we love that side of it. Or we always just do it and I'll save it and then after the wedding, if I'm allowed to, we'll share it with the world. So. So there, there's a little glimpse of that flower. <laughs> so hopefully now you got a kind of like took the uh, pulled the curtain back on the uh, world of invitations for you. And there, it's really um, a daunting I feel like world out there because there's so many options. <laughs> so hopefully that gave you guys some clarity on um, on what's possible. So now I want to talk about the key trends that I'm seeing for 2019 for invitations. Watercolor is definitely still growing really, really strong. Obviously, um, you know, it's very big in our portfolio and I love it. Um, but I want to show you how there's different ways that you can bring it in. So this is uh, an example of the painting that I made and here it is on the top of the invitation as well as the liner. And then what's super cool is that print can now be taken into the party so it could become pillows or fabrics. If you visit our booth, the backdrop is actually the fabric turned into um, you know, the linens or such like that. So there's just so much possibility. And we, we love to go beyond paper so um, there's kind of no limits now. It's really exciting. Um, and then, so here's some different examples of how it can translate into your liner. It could be um, in the border of your invitation. Or a lot of uh, times our clients are like, you know, I've always been dreaming of more of that classic invitation. But then how do I still have fun? <laughs> so how do I make my mom happy, basically? And, uh, <laughs> you know, or my mother-in-law and, uh, you know, and still do something that's me. So this is a good one here where you can have the more conservative, if you will, uh, serious side, and then the fun side here. And if I can go back, this was the liner. So it took you, it, with the sunset, transformed you to the tropical uh, destination. OK, so there's always creative solutions, I feel like. We want to make everyone happy. <laughs> 
Um, and the next trend I'm seeing is that going beyond paper, it's really not only about just the, the paper. Acrylic is really big. It's been around, but it's become, I feel like it's got this resurgence that people are really interested in it. And we love to take it to that next level. So this one. And also, all of these are on display if you guys want to see them in real life, because the photos never do it justice. Trust me, I try. I do all the Instagram and the photos, and it's like very hard. But this one um, is Lucite. So the top layer has the gold foil, and the back layer is the watercolor. And then it went in this beautiful, opulent uh, invitation or envelope. Excuse me. She wanted it was in Italy, and she wanted it to be inspired by like Dolce Gabbana and like all that lovely like luxe Italian, overflowing, vibrant life. So hopefully, you think we we did a good job. <laughs> um, and then. Quite opposite, this is still lucite or acrylic, but you can go very clean, right? So this one here is just milky plexi. It comes in many different colors, and you can do it in many different color surface uh, tones too. And then the one on the, I guess, left, right? <laughs> Whichever side, this one, <laughs> um, is taking it to the next level with it being presented in a box and um, and highlighting the next trend which is going in a three-dimensional form so it has this box opening it has 3d paper flowers that we handmade and tied it all together but it's still got that classic simplistic uh, elegance so going the next trend is the three-dimensional which is taking it beyond the flat card so i keep this one in here it's it's a like classic but it's just we are just obsessed with it still um, and it has spawned many of baby invitations like that have been inspired by this design that maybe you know you don't need this whole uh, band of of what is it six or seven florals but the idea here was that it actually was interactive so this piece popped out it came in here it came out and revealed the invitation and then you had this three-dimensional paper art that took it to another plane, it was really cool. And so I've done many of wedding invitations that way that maybe it's just one or two florals like you saw on this one. And it takes a more simpler approach. Um, I mean, there's many different ways you can do it. To me, the possibilities are endless. We're doing it in a box with a whole bed of white flowers. So like whatever like flights your fancy is exciting to us. And then the last trend is so special, and I think what is making weddings really amazing today is that you can now brand your events and take it to the next level of, of that personalization. So please, like, don't forget that it, it, your invitation is really branding you and is setting your tone for what the party's gonna be, and that you should, no matter who you're collaborating with, make sure that your other creative partners, whether it's the cake designer or the event designer, or the florist, like everyone should put their heads together as talents to really really like apply their creativity to make your party that much even more amazing because I think if you're sometimes I feel like maybe you just don't even know that that's possible but a lot of us are friends or we want to collaborate and we want to know and by seeing that I know if I take one look at, at a floral floor plan I'm like oh I'm super inspired of what to do for the menus and here's how the dance floor should go and we can immediately collaborate and elevate the events so I think um, kind of you know do you know what I'm saying like collaborate versus just work in, uh, in a hole. So this one is one of my new ones that I'm super excited about. It, it kind of, I don't know if you can see it okay, but it encompasses all the trends that I'm talking about. It has the watercolor here on the liner in the back of the invitation. It's on acrylic and on the back side is laser cut. So there's three or four layers of laser cut and foil. It might be tough to see, but it's very, so it's taking all that tactile aspect in it. And this particular client so it begins with the save the date here that starts the setting the mood and then the invitation right and then at the party it all can, can come together so if you look closely this is actually made from my watercolor the tables and you kind of can't tell but this is the pattern that we made that was on the the peonies on the flowers on the save the date that became the base of the tables and the top of the tables was the watercolor <laughs> yeah. Question. How did you um, get the colors? Is that a cloth or is it? Um, so it can be done surface? in so many different ways. It can be um, like a fabric or it can be like a printed, you know, there's different printed vinyl wraps or different materials that you can print on, like surfaces, depending on where you're going to apply it. In this case, it was actually like wrapped around and like, you know, you can do it on um, for bars as well. 
Uh, this is kind of wild, but this was actually a little champagne greeter girl. And if you look closely, her dress is made from my flowers. <laughs> it's all my print on a fabric, which I was like so excited when I saw this because the event planner, Jordan Payne, was like, she's in Texas. She goes, I'm going to make this. Give me that print. I'm going to make it into everything. And she really did. <laughs> So here you can see more of close up. Even the stage came to life with the florals. And look, this is actually the save the date pattern cut, laser cut into the uh, chandelier. I was just amazed when I saw this. No, so these are, but this is uh, the laser cut of my peony pattern that also is the same pattern that you're seeing here turned into the chandelier. So there's really no limits. It's so fun. I love it. It's so exciting. And this, this is the, the stage come to life. Some of the florals became, you know, three-dimensional. The dance floor even, which I'll show you. There's a close-up of the, the watercolor on the table. Um, that was the program. And there's the bar. Isn't it cool? So see, it really can go beyond just that one card. So. It's so, I mean, for me, I'm obsessed with it and I love it and I absolutely hope that we all will collaborate and take events to the next level. So you can see, see the floor? And then there's a close-up of the chandelier, so see? So pretty. Okay, how are we doing? Am I going too fast? I have no idea what time I am. Are you loving it? Okay, good. I'm getting the thumbs up back there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Um, and definitely, there's so much more inspiration on, on Instagram. I was like, I only have 30 minutes, really, so I, I, I wanted to get it all in. So my top tips for you guys, because I want, I know this isn't something you do all the time, and I want you guys to come out of here as pros and not be overwhelmed. And we'll definitely, let's do Q&A, too. Um, this is my most popular question. When do I order? <laughs> if I had it my perfect dream world way, as soon as you book your venue, you should be booking your invitation person. <laughs> OK? I know it's daunting, and it's like, oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know. But if you choose to actually any of our processes, if, whether it's the collection, ready to order, or the couture, they don't require you to have to know precisely everything right off the bat. If you're ordering online, then usually you have to like, it's much more of a permanent commitment. But from a quantity point of view, like a lot of times people are like, I don't know my guest list yet, you know, but at least if you have an idea. So if it's, I don't know, you're planning for 200 people, you can still get started and get, because you can get through the creative and all the fun and like ultimately, for me, um, we're starting to set the tone for you. And then you're going and we're collaborating with the event designers and we're taking it to that next level. Instead of waiting for the event designer, who usually doesn't have the pressure like I do, to get them out much faster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Other event designers in this room. OK, I love you. <laughs> Um, so you know what I mean? Like, it's hard because we want us all to be talking and make it really perfect. But as professionals, as we each have our own responsibilities and, and, and important details to make sure that we take care of for you, it really is OK. Like, you can start. You can get that print, the creative process going and get the printing going as well. And then you can share those mood boards and that brand that we created with the rest of your creative team. And it makes everyone's job so much easier. Versus waiting, and then you're in rush fees, and then it's late and then it's super stressful. So I hope you guys understand. But if you want to play by the book, it's six to eight months before your wedding. So if you, you know, get engaged and let's say you're going to do a quicker shotgun wedding, don't panic. Just like get going right away and it's OK. Um, and then remember, you have to tag on the lead time for the creative process. So for couture, for us, we like to have like to have, so don't like hold me to it, is like a two to three month window. Because it's a month for creative usually, a month for production, and then if you have calligraphy on top of it, and the guest list, and the mailing, and the assembly, all of that takes so much time. And that is where we manage every step of the way for you. So that's why basically you should just book right away. <laughs> Does it make sense? And then for your invitations, um, it's about a six month. Uh, you want to mail them out the one and a half to two months before, so you really like the six months mark is good. So make sense? OK, now you guys are all going to be professionals. All right, and then this is the next question. Most popular, how many do I order? So biggest mistake that clients make is they think I'm having a 300-person wedding, or in this case, 200. 
and they say, I'm going to order 200 invitations. So you call to get a quote for 200, and they find out that really one invitation invites two people. <laughs> so they just wasted a lot of money on 100 extra invitations, basically. So be super smart about this. Now you'll save money, and you'll also make sure that you, you do it right. But I do want you to know that it's so, so, so important, if there's one professional tip, to order extra. For sure, right? Who everyone in professionals know? First of all, the mailman is my enemy. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> they are super annoying and always, always something goes wrong. And even if we made them most perfect and we took them to the post office with white gloves and we said, please, please, please handle with care and they can't hand cancel and off they go, something will go wrong. I had the most craziest stories. One time I had a mom and a daughter who lived literally like down the street and the mom got her, no, the daughter got hers like three days later and the mom did not get hers for three weeks. And she thought, I didn't mail it out, right. of course. So it was always, <laughs> I mean, listen, emotions run wild when you're getting married and I understand that, but I'm just prepping you so when you guys, <laughs> you know, I hope I'm not offending anyone, but those of in the room who have dealt with a mailman on a regular basis yeah. understand. <laughs> so again, I'm just prepping so you're prepared. Um, but that's why you order the extra 25 cushion. And also the hand calligrapher is going to mess up. They're humans, they're writing people's names they've never even known before. It just happens. And plus you want a keepsake, you know, for your photographer. Ooh, I should have put that as another tip. Make sure that your photographer <laughs> gets a copy of your invitation on your wedding day. And because it's always forgotten, <laughs> right? And, and if you want bonus points, hold your wedding invitation with your gorgeous dress behind you and have them focus on it. Pay attention photographers over here. And they focus on the invite and then you're blurry in the depth of field in the background. Best photo ever. And then send us Yes, yes, exactly. And then make sure I get it. Um, yes, so, and, and don't, don't, don't have them shoot it on the floor. That's another thing I can't stand. Make sure that it's on some kind of beautiful background, or if you don't have it, put, put them in flowers like I did for the bride lux invitation. That helps. But, okay, so we're good on the, on the quantity, everyone knows. So the, the math formula is you take your guest count, 200 or whatever your total account is, divide it in half, and then add 25 for that cushion. So in this case, it's 200 divided by two, and then you add the 25. So you really only order 125, okay? Um, and then cushion. And sometimes, just one more thing, if your guest list is like 115, 125 is really cutting it close. Sometimes a lot of clients are like, it's so wasteful, I don't know, and I don't want to spend the extra money. So it's up to you, but I definitely, from my professional standpoint, think that you need to go to up and have that 25 cushion because they will get lost. And again, you need the keepsakes, you want extras for the photography, that kind of thing. So just trust me, it's way less expensive to have a peace of mind <laughs> than to have to call in a panic and order extras later, okay? All right, so how do I get started? If you guys are interested, this is all our contact information. We'd love, love, love to have you visit our booth. And I have no idea how I am on timing. If what Does anyone know what time it is? 1.38. All right, so we get Q&A now. Um, and I'm happy to answer anything and everything, whatever you guys need um, question-wise or how to do, it, do the world of invitations, I'm here for you. Yes? <coughs> Okay. Do we have a microphone for her or anything? Or should I give her one? Sorry. Okay. Millennials wanting a beautiful invitation. But they want to have an online RSVP. Oh. oh okay. Yes. Or RSVP. I'm getting. Okay. Clearly, good question. Okay. So she's saying. Um, do we break at normal etiquette and do a reply on a website or a reply on um, just in an email? Yeah. So I, this is my answer to that. Would you wear sweatpants to your own wedding? Yeah. <laughs> I personally think you have to uphold the tradition <laughs> because 
it's like slacking and it's like you're you're cutting corners and I just feel that there's something lovely about that not only does it help the planner and you know you guys and it's also really fun when I got married I had red envelopes and I loved 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 getting them in the mail and it was so fun so I think just personally my recommendation is to keep it traditionally like have the formal mailing Peep, your guests also write you notes like they love it and it may, it's really fun and you can get creative I have ended up like putting all mine in a row of my favorites and frame them like they become works of you know keepsakes and things so um, so yeah I think don't cut that but if you're doing a bridal shower or like a brunch that's okay when it, but the wedding itself should have formal right it sounds like you agree okay good question anyone else yes Oh yeah. Um, say you have a lot of nose for like the A list and you want to. Yeah. We have to talk into that, I guess. <laughs> All right, and you're getting married, right? No, no I'm a vendor. Oh, you're okay. I don't know if this but wait, vendor's the worst name. You're just creative partner, creative yeah, talent, creative partner. What, what do you do? I'm a planner. Okay. So, say if you want to invite the B list guests, how do you go about addressing the envelope? Do you work with the calligrapher or how? Like what's your best advice on that? Because you don't want to... Well, the B-list people should still... So that's why you're booking right away, right? Because everyone has like lots of time. Um, the B-list is always tricky no matter what. Um, because you know you don't want to offend anybody but I think then you have to make sure that they still get the same experience I think that's just you know tacky if they're B list and they don't get hand calligraphy it's kind of sad <laughs> right <laughs> yeah just a little bit about your technique your hand painting is so beautiful thank you when you use watercolor texture for the design like for instance this one and the other floral yeah do you actually hand paint it on cotton linen paper or so I painted on my watercolor paper and then we scan it in I would die if I had to paint all thousands of invitations there's just no way I mean thank you thank you for thinking that if you did yeah no 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 the the texture of the watercolor paper the original art is scan it picks up in the scan so it looks that way but you we can print it on more textured stock too like to emphasize it even more but this is just a smooth um, nice cotton paper yeah, the scan the scanner picks up the detail. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm an like, graphic designer. Oh, great. Um, I'm just wondering how you can be sure that you are working with a quality printer. How can you know that they can oh. offer all these wonderful possibilities? From you mean like as a, a couple hiring a professional, or you mean like you needing to find a professional right. printer? Yes. Um. Well, my really blunt advice is just get samples, and if they look bad, then they look bad. They're a bad printer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm. So for me personally, I'm stickler on quality, and like everything that we produce, it has to be top notch. It's like we have the best papers. I've searched the earth for them. Andy Warhol used to use them. They're museum quality. Like they are the best and they're the thickest and I'm very proud of that and like that is what my brand is all about and so when I look to find creative like talent of printers and manufacturers they have to be at that level and if they don't perform at that level then I don't have time for them so yeah samples and conversations but for sure if they're sending you work that's terrible then they're gonna just give you terrible work yeah oh, hi I love you um, I'm also a graphic designer and I um, design wedding invitations to in <coughs> New Jersey. My question is, I'm getting nervous about the stationery industry. I attend the National Stationery Show every year at mm -hmm. Javits Center and it's getting smaller and smaller. Okay. And how do you feel about wedding invitations in the future? Are people going to start just sending out emails or oh, you can go God. online no. and no. just send a quick invitation? Because I'm getting nervous and with this woman saying about RSVPing on their websites, that's eliminating the RSVP <laughs> card. How do yeah. you feel about stationary wedding uh, well, stations in the future? I mean, I really hope that it's the same thing I said about the sweatpants scenario. Like, I really hope everyone just elevates and, and understands that you're getting married. It's like a one time in your life, hopefully. And, you know, like, it's just trying. I just hope people won't cut those corners. Um, I mean, I, 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 
I just, all I can say is like, you know, I just keep trying to do the best work possible to inspire people. I mean, I hope that that doesn't happen for any of us, like from, from fashion or cake and like florals, like you just want everybody. Who, and the, I, I do believe that people will appreciate, there's always a level of, of people that appreciate the creativity and the artistry. Yes. And those are the people that we are working, yes, creating exactly. for. And those that send emails, they're just, you know, it's, not, yeah. it's okay, it's their thing, you know? There's, there's a, you can say that about anything, right? So, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, do you do any production in-house? Yeah, so it just depends on what it is. Um, I mean, all those feathers that you saw, we were hand gluing them all, you know, all the folding and like, yeah, I mean, it depends on the vision. But like the printing and the... And the um, printing, no. That, you send those mm -hmm. Yeah, we have our partners, so. Anybody else? These are all really good questions. Hopefully I'm helping give you guys some good insight. All, all of my uh, couples are engaged brides-to-be or couples out there. You guys, are you, Dawn, are you, is it scary? Are you okay? Are you overwhelmed? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Don't be overwhelmed. I don't mean to call you out, but no, don't, okay. don't be overwhelmed. I think... Well, my issue is I have a lot of different, um, I guess, themes, and mm -hmm. I don't know how to break it down and how to convey that through yeah. the invitation. Yeah. So that's a great example, right? So don't feel like it's your responsibility. Okay. It's not. Like, you come and we have a conversation. I'll ask you all the questions, and it's just about getting to know you, and you don't have to do a thing. You just have to tell us all those thoughts. Like, remember the girl who wanted, like, Back to the Future and yeah. her romantic flowers? And she, she never came up with that idea. Like, definitely, oh my gosh, please, like, everyone, don't, I, I, industry or brides, like, don't feel that it's your responsibility to know exactly what it's going to be like. Like, that's a mistake in my mind. Mm -hmm. That's our job. Like, that's what we do. That's what I would hate for you to come to me and be like, I just want this. Can you print it? And be like, <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, no, you just took out all the fun, you know? And then imagine all the time and the hours and the stress that you're sitting here like, you're not a. I will, I'm assuming you're not a graphic not designer okay. or an artist, so like that's stressful for you. Like, don't put that weight of the world on your shoulders. Or if it's what your florals are gonna look like, or your food. Like, it's like going to a restaurant. You don't go in the kitchen and be like, "Here's how I need it cooked," and please make sure. Na -na 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 -na. You're just like you don't show up with ingredients. Like they make it for you and you enjoy it, yes. right? Right? Are my professionals in the room? That's what we do. Whether you're planning, so like that's that's what I was trying to say in the beginning. Like you're, we're in an amazing time to get married because there's so much talent and people that have been doing it, and you just have to turn yourself over and just be like, I just want an awesome wedding. Yeah. Can you help me make it awesome? No problem. Right? Right? That's that's so. I really can't. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like I, you can't stress how I think that's such. A, you're not alone. Everyone does yeah. that, <laughs> including I feel like planners. Sometimes I love you all. I do. I do. But please know that you don't have to have all the answers and be the invitation designer be the cake designer like let us do what we do best and we can collaborate and then it just makes everyone's job better right okay good okay. yeah yeah and once I give you the ideas remember in the sketches then you're like I love this I love that you're reacting to it so yeah don't feel like you have to find it Unless, I mean, unless that's your thing, but like, again, you're, like, there's so much creative opportunity now in this industry that is so fun. And I think what we all, why we all are in business and why we love it, because we can make amazing things for you that you do not have to come up with yourself. <laughs> okay? All right, good. I'm getting the ax. It's time. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you was helpful. And please keep in touch. Thank you.